Hello everyone! So today I'm here with March favorites and March has been a very busy month for me because I have been writing my thesis almost exclusively of course except of going to uni to classes but other than that I haven't done much uh, and I actually, I actually have finished writing my thesis today so it's like a weight on my shoulder obviously I'm still probably gonna have to correct it or like maybe add something or I don't know really what it has to be checked still uh, but yeah it's like I'm done with it like the bulk is done <laughs> so now it's on like small uh, things that I have to write maybe or like tweak um, so yeah but because of that I don't have as many favorites because I haven't been doing much and most of the days I haven't worn makeup or like gone out of the house uh, so yeah I don't have as many uh, products to share with you but I do have a few so maybe let's start with something that's not a makeup or like skincare favorite it's actually a chocolate and this is the chocolate it's from the brand Biedronka this one's empty by the way because obviously I ate it but my dad found it and I thought I would like to try it because it's um so it's Swiss chocolate, but you know, it's made for Bidronka, I don't know actually exactly where it's being made. Um, it, says, it says Switzerland, but who knows. But it has like um, crunchy bits inside, like crunchy pieces, and I really like that in the chocolate. And also it's not too sweet, because sometimes milk chocolates can be too sweet. This one's really good. I know it's really random, but in case anyone likes chocolate, I mean, most of the people do. But can anyone, in case anyone is looking for a new chocolate, check out your shops. I definitely recommend. Let's maybe move on to a nail polish. So once like the spring rolled around and like it got warmer, I thought I'm gonna paint my nails a very bright color. And this is it. This is the Essence D Gel Nail Polish. And the color is... Here. It's hashtag lucky. It's really bright and it's really opaque, like only uh, one layer is enough. Um, I always do two anyway, just to so the color has a bit more of a punch, you know. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, not currently wearing it because I have already changed the color of my nail just because I broke like two nails while wearing this, and I was like, okay, while I'm gonna like change my nails up, just gonna change the nail polish color as well. Um, but yeah, it's really good, I really like it, and I'm definitely gonna wear it more during the summertime as well. Another one is actually a makeup brush, and this is a, a blush brush, I think? Yes, a blush brush, if you're gonna be able to see that, from the brand from a brand called Real Techniques. There you go. And I actually got this for my birthday from one of my best friends. And it was a really good gift because I have been eyeing this up for a while. But I just never really committed to buying it. But I'm really uh, like happy that to finally have it. But I don't use it for a blush. I use it for bronzer. Just like here, you know. Because, uh, yeah, I don't wear blush and I think it works great as a um, bronzer, bronzer blush. The next up, perfume. I actually kind of forgot I had it, but then I was uh, in Zara, because that's where it is from. Uh, I was in Zara with my mom and she really liked the scent and I was like, I feel like I know it. <laughs> and then I remembered that I had it actually. But because uh, it's a very like floral scent, yeah, it's very basically very springy. <laughs> it's a very floral scent, so I didn't wear it much, obviously, during winter or like fall time. So now I have a new perfume. Well, kind of new, you know, like rediscovered. I actually really like Zara perfumes because they have like a wide range that you can choose from. Like I'm sure everyone is gonna be able to find something for them. Uh, and they're really like good price-wise for what you get. Um, 
also like my dad or my brother use the male Zara perfumes and actually some of them are like really awesome like I really love the smells so yeah I wish they had something similar for women actually but yeah and um, yeah Zara Orchid and I definitely think would recommend this one just go to a Zara near you and smell it and if you like florals you should like this one next up is a face cream actually and this is how this looks it's from a brand called Violenda and it's from a range botanic formula and this is the packaging by the way but it has all the info on it and this is the, the moisturizing cream with hemp oil and saffron it actually has the um, the pictures of them on the packaging and the formula of it is like lightweight it doesn't feel very heavy but it's definitely a rich cream it smells really good by the way like really good yeah the formula is really rich actually and it's very moisturizing and that's why I use it uh, mostly in the afternoon before I go to bed because for during the day I don't like too heavy of a cream under my makeup or just the cream alone and it says it's the cream for all skin types but especially mixed and oily and my skin type is mixed so because of that it is good for the skin type but it's still like it's not like a gel lightweight formula that sinks in very quickly it I feel like it leaves a bit of a feeling after it smells great by the way it definitely doesn't feel very heavy on your skin but you do feel it that there's something there so yeah I'm, I think I'm looking for face cream that doesn't exist that moisturizes really well but you don't actually feel it on the face but yeah it's just my opinion um, and yeah it's supposed to be made of like 98% of ingredients that are like natural maybe don't know I haven't like went through the ingredient list and checked them all out but yeah the time that it's like good to use after you open it's only four months so that could indicate actually that the ingredients are a bit more natural than like your regular greens okay and last thing that might seem a bit random but while I was writing my thesis I was using it a lot and these are highlighters and uh, that I think I already have mentioned somewhere um, I'm trying to show you them all um, there uh, there are the Stavolo highlighters and they are the, these are the pastels one and I honestly don't think I'm gonna go back to normal highlighters I don't mean like a uh, different brand but I mean like those really bright ones just because these ones um, I feel like just my eyes don't get as tired and it's not like the highlighted part of the text is like just in your face it's a bit more like muted but you still you still know exactly um, that's important because it's highlight, highlighted just not in like a in your face <laughs> type of way but yeah if um, if you want a bit more of an original color hmm, which ones are my I think green is my, one of my favorites green I actually think these ones one second just trying to hold them up I think these ones are my favorite because in generally I don't really like orange highlighter uh, and yellow it's just yellow also not a fan I'm a bit more of this color palette side of a person <laughs> um, so yeah if you uh, can or you find them somewhere do buy at least one I started off with one and as you can tell I think I have all of the pastels one all of the pastel ones anyway thank you for watching this video uh, I know it has been a bit shorter than my usual videos, but maybe that's for the best. 
Uh, I do hope you stick around and subscribe to my channel and also give it a like if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!